Hello, guys. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, teacher. Hi. How are you? Good, teacher. And you? I'm great. Thank you for asking. Well, uh, I owe you uh, an apology, you know. I want to say this. Buenas tardes a todos. Um, bienvenidos. Mucho gusto nuevamente. Y pedir una disculpa, ¿verdad? Eh, acá en la clase, debido al inconveniente que hubo ayer, ¿verdad? Sé que ya estaban, ya habían ingresado, ya se habían unido, ¿verdad? A la clase y pues lo lamento, ¿verdad? Por, por no haber avisado, bueno, sí lo, lo, lo comenté, ¿verdad? Con, con inglés corporativo, con las autoridades, directamente con ellos, debido al inconveniente que tuve, ¿verdad? Un inconveniente personal, ¿verdad? De último momento, pero... Gracias a Dios, todo está bien, ¿verdad? Gracias por su, por su comprensión, ¿verdad? Y, y espero, bueno, no, bueno, no volver a pasar eso. Cualquier cosita, si saben que los inconvenientes o a veces emergencias pasan inesperadamente, pero se les va a estar notificando siempre, ¿verdad? Y no se preocupen, esa clase se va a reponer. Y, ¿Qué más? Pero acá estamos, ¿verdad? Acá estamos listos para ese día. La clase se va a reponer ese próximo viernes, 18. Entonces queríamos ahorita de corrido, ¿verdad? Sería jueves y viernes para reponer esa clase desde ayer. Eh, voy a empezar a pasar lista. So now you listen to your name, please say present. Ana Imperatriz. Ana María. Ana Mercedes. Present. Andrea. Carmen. Present. Present. Thank you, Andrea. Thank you, Carmen. Claudia Efigenio. Daniela, Edith, present, present, thank you, Edna, present, chair, and Esmeralda, Esmeralda, Gerson, Gerson, Ever, present, present. Thank you, thank you. It is. Waliri, Prophet. Oh, so yeah, sorry. It is Hernandez. Present. You. you and it is. Es que las dos somos Hernandez. Yeah, I'm not is that. It is Hernandez de Cardona and it is Felipe Hernandez. Seguido, ¿verdad? Seguido. Take care. Okay. Present. <laughs> sorry. Jose Chavez. Marcela. Present. Eh, ya voy a encender la cámara, por eso lo voy a comer a mi sobrino, rápido. Excelente, excelente, no se preocupe. Eh, voy, a veces voy mencionando, ¿verdad?, nombre y apellido, porque tengo varios, varios participantes repetidos, ¿verdad?, en cuanto a sus nombres. Pero no, sí, no me había percatado que ambas son Hernández. <ríe> María Julia. Good afternoon, teacher, present. Good afternoon, thank you. Marvin. Marvin, I can see you. Yeah. Present, present. Thank you. Ovidio. Here. Reina. Present. Thank you, Reina. Ricardo. Ricardo. Royer. Rosa Granados. Sandra. Present. Thank you. Sara. Present. Thank you. See you. Thank you. Silvia. Silvia Martinez. Present. Thanks. Sonia. 
Present. Thank you, Sonia. I can see you. Sonia Mlara, exactly. Thank you. Stephanie Paraona. Walter? Present. Thank you. And Jennifer? Present, teacher. Thank you. Well, I can see that everybody, everybody has entered right with the complete name, right? Veo que todos hemos ingresado con el nombre completo. Excelente. Solo en el caso suyo, Sonia, veo que aparece solo con nombre y apellido. Ahorita se lo cambia, no se preocupe. Solo no se le olvide ingresar, ¿verdad? Con nombre completo. Ok. Ok, teacher. Thank you. Bueno, eh, mencionar rapidito, ¿verdad? Lo que se estuvo platicando en la primera clase. No olvidemos ingresar con nombre completo. Segundo y. Eso es lo primero. Segundo, utilizar nuestra cámara. Thank you, Ana María. Ya vi por chat que me comentó. Lo otro, la cámara, ¿verdad? Que son nuestra cámara, please. Según instrucciones de inglés operativo, ¿verdad? Hay que usar nuestra cámara. Por favor. ¿Qué más? Bueno, Adam Mercedes, hello. Hola. Ah, ok, ok. Ahora ya no se sabe en lista, pero ya la tengo en lista. Thank you. Más. Bueno, eh, nuevamente, para los que acaban de ingresar. Oh, thank you, Gerson. Thank you, Gerson. Hello, Gerson. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thank you. How are you? I'm fine. Good, good. ¿Qué más se acaba de, de unir? Veo a Daniela también por acá. Daniela. ¿Qué más? Además de Daniela. Thank you. Welcome. Creo que solamente Daniela y Gerson se acaban de unir. Ok. Oh, Ana and Patrice, too. Thank you. Welcome, Ana and Patrice. Good afternoon. Vamos a iniciar. Ya pasa lista. Repito, si alguien no lo mencioné o posiblemente se acaba de unir, avíseme para poder agregar la lista. Ya pasa lista. Que creo que estamos bien. Bueno, eh, hacer énfasis en lo siguiente, ¿verdad? Ayer se les estuvo enviando la información, igual se les va a estar compartiendo acá, ¿verdad? En, en, en las clases, de igual forma lo voy a hacer también en el grupo de WhatsApp. Hacer el recordatorio, siempre se le va a estar recordando acerca de la plataforma. ¿Hemos iniciado a completar la plataforma? ¿Hemos iniciado? Yes. 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 Excelente. Excelente. Yes, teacher. Perfecto. Si hemos iniciado... Sigamos, ¿verdad? hay que seguir. Sigamos ya aquí ir completando la plataforma. Los que no hemos iniciado una plataforma, por favor, iniciamos. ¿verdad? Les invito a que iniciamos ese día, please. Recuerden que esta semana por lo menos debe estar completo hasta la unidad 1 la unidad uno y parte de la, de la, perdón, la sección 1 y parte de la sección 2. Esas dos secciones deben de completarse durante esa semana ya que la próxima semana se va a completar eh, hasta la sección 3. Y, bueno, vamos a incluir también el Mitro, ¿verdad? Esas tres partes, esas tres secciones se van a completar en las primeras dos semanas, semana 1 y semana 2, ¿verdad? Y acá está el Mitro, en la sección 3. Entonces, hay que completar hasta ahí. Hay que iniciar, por eso, ¿verdad? Les, 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 les recalco bastante, eh, siempre les... Les estoy acá comentando ¿verdad? en la clase de completar, de ir completando ya, de ir poco a poco. Y si hay dudas o preguntas, pues hagámoslo saber. Thank you, Roger. Good afternoon. ¿Qué más se acaba de unir? Soy, ¿verdad? Marcando en la lista, además de Roger. Creo que solamente él. 
teacher. Soy Rosa, yes. no sé si ya me marcó a mí. Eh, Rosa, right? Gracias. Yeah, Rosa, yeah, thank you. Ok, entonces eso es lo que debemos seguir ya, ¿verdad? Completando. Si hemos iniciado, repito, excelente. Si no lo hemos hecho, los invito a que lo hagamos a partir de este día, por favor. Ir completando, ir completando. Ahora bien, lo otro que quiero mencionar, y repito, para los que se acaban de unir, les estaba pidiendo una disculpa al inicio, a todos con respecto a la clase de ayer, ¿verdad? Eh, debido al inconveniente que pues, tuve a último momento, por esa razón, pues, eh, yo les comenté, ¿verdad? Cuando me puse en contacto con las autoridades para comentarles mi caso y se tuvo, ¿verdad? Que en ese caso suspender la clase, se les notificó. Yo sé que fue en el momento, ¿verdad? Que, que se ya, ya se había iniciado el, la hora y me disculpo, ¿verdad? Por, por ese inconveniente. Eh, sé que ya estaban listos ahí, ya estaban en la sesión, incluso vi los mensajes yo y pues la verdad que mil disculpas, mil disculpas, es, no se va a volver a dar, pero ustedes saben ¿verdad? que a veces cuando hay inconvenientes o, o en ese caso problemas o emergencias, pues eh, a veces de último momento, entonces no se puede controlar eso. Pero igual, este, la clase como lo mencionaba ayer yo y el, la se les estuvo indicando, se va, a repos se va a reponer ese próximo viernes. Entonces, queríamos de corrido esos tres días, miércoles, jueves y viernes, para reponer la clase de el mismo En la misma hora, ¿verdad? En la misma hora de 1 a 2. Eh, ¿Qué más? Bueno, no sé si hay preguntas, dudas, comentarios. Vamos a iniciar por acá. Recuerden, si tienen alguna duda con respecto a algún ejercicio, los que ya iniciamos la plataforma, ya avanzamos. Si hay algún ejercicio que les está dando problemas, avísame. Me pueden preguntar acá. O en general, ¿verdad? Lo que desean. Y quisiera saber al mismo tiempo, antes de iniciar, cómo eh, estuvo la clase el lunes. ¿Cómo nos sentimos? Eh, ¿Estuvo bien la clase? ¿Iba muy rápido? Me gusta preguntarles, ¿verdad? En, en la primera clase, más cuando iniciamos, ¿verdad? Con un principiante, porque ¿verdad? quiero que ustedes se sientan eh, en un ambiente, ¿verdad? De confianza. Se sientan bien. Sure. Dígame. Bueno, de mi punto de vista fue muy buena, solo que como tengo poco de inglés, entonces algunas cosas se me escaparon de lo que usted iba hablando, pero creo que en general me gusta mucho porque así voy a acostumbrar mi oído a oír inglés, aunque hay cosas que me, me quedo como volando, está preguntando o solo está afirmando, entonces por ahí me pierdo un poco, pero de lo contrario, excelente. Bueno, creo que en general, si probablemente se les haga, ¿verdad? Yo sé que iniciamos, y nos, nos pasa todo, ¿verdad? Me pasó a mí también. Y pues el consejo que siempre les doy, ¿verdad? A cada uno, a cada grupo, es que vayamos a acostumbrarnos. ¿verdad? Agilizar, a, a agudizar, perdón, es oído, adaptarlo al idioma, ¿verdad? Porque es muy difícil cuando tenemos ambos idiomas a la vez. Nos acostumbramos bastante, es, es Pasa con cualquier situación, ¿verdad? Que uno hace, ¿verdad? Uno se acostumbra, entonces, eso nos genera a veces dificultad para poder... Entonces, me gusta ser a, a mí bastante honesto con, con cada grupo, porque después, ¿verdad? No me gusta que hay esos tipos de comentarios, ¿verdad? Que, ¿me entienden? No, no, no voy a entrar en detalles. Pero me gusta, ¿verdad? Ayudar, ayudar bastante a cada grupo, a cada participante, para que ustedes, ¿verdad? Se sientan en confianza. ¿verdad? Se en confianza en, en, ese, en esa clase, conmigo, ¿verdad? sin pena, sin miedo a expresar sus ideas equivocarnos, la sucede bastante, nos equivocamos, yo soy yo me equivoco, nadie es perfecto, es que tranquilos, 
Y claro, si sienten que voy muy rápido, avísame, que voy a ir, ¿verdad? Un poco, no lo voy a decir tanto así, ¿verdad? Como que voy a utilizar español. Voy a estar alternando un poquito, pero va a ser poquito. No les prometo más. Porque quiero que se vayan acostumbrando. Y luego con todos los grupos, ¿verdad? Y, y hasta el momento pues no he tenido mayor, no sé, ¿cómo decirlo? Queja, no sé. <ríe> Así es que, ¿verdad? Se los digo de esa forma, porque me gusta, ¿verdad? Acostarlos, ser honestos, ayudarles. Y al mismo tiempo que ustedes se me hacen honestos, ¿verdad? Claro que sí. Es que, tranquilo, vamos muy despacio. Despacio. Si me excedo, ¿verdad? Si voy rápido, díganme. Sin pena. Y voy a ir, ¿verdad? Bastante utilizando, como lo mencioné en la primera clase, ejemplos. Bastantes ejemplos así, ¿verdad? De nuestra vida cotidiana, etc. A modo de que ustedes comprendan cómo se utiliza, por ejemplo, cómo se hace una pregunta, etc. Es que cualquier cosita, dígame. Well, we're going to begin with a topic. Today, we're going to talk about simple present. Simple present statements. That is the main topic. Give me a second. I'm just checking it because I can see another participant. Alcanzo a ver a alguien más, pero no sé quién es. ¿Alguien que se acaba de unir? I am Esmeralda. Esmeralda, ok. Let me see si la marqué en la lista. Ah, oh, bueno, sí, se me hacía falta. Thank you. Ok, let's start, guys. This is class number two. Today is Wednesday, March 16th. The topic is a simple present statement. Right? We're going to see simple present statements. We're going to talk about positive or affirmative in negative form. Right? Let's start. The simple present, the simple present tense. When do we use it? Well, we use it to talk about daily activities. We can say daily routines, right? And let's say habits, right? That is the way you use the simple present. Right, and you can say, I brush my teeth every day. That is a habit, right? I brush my teeth every day. That is a habit. Or you can say, right, I watch movies at night. I watch movies at night. That can be a routine or it can be a daily activity, right? I watch movies at night. Someone can say, right? I go to work at 7 a.m. This is another daily activity, daily activity. I go to work at 7 a.m., 7 a.m. Or the possibility can be my brother goes to school in the morning. My brother goes to school in the morning. My brother goes to school in the morning. We can say Sana, Sana listens music in the afternoon. Sana listens music in the afternoon. Right, so those can be, you know, part of those activities, you know, can be daily, right? They are part of those daily activities or routines or habits, right? It depends. That is a simple present, right? What is the way we form this present? Like I said before, today we're going to talk about affirmative and negative form. 
Ese día vamos a ver solo afirmativo y negativo. En la próxima clase veríamos preguntas. Simple present statements. This is affirmative form. And this is negative form. What is the way you structure a sentence in affirmative? So you follow this formula. We have that formula. You need to follow it. In respect, right? Respected. What do we have? A subject plus verb plus complement. Subject, verb, complement. We need to follow that structure. Subject, verb, complement. Let's see some examples. I walk to school. I walk to school. Let's analyze this example. Right, affirmative form, subject per complement. And I can say, I walk to school. So if we analyze the sentence, the example, this is the subject, I, walk is a verb, and this is a complement. I walk to school. Subject per complement. Another example, you write, your bike to school. You ride your bike to school. Subject, verb, complement. You ride your bike to school. Okay, that is the way. Listen, we have, let's say, two forms in the affirmative way. There is one use, I mean, there is one way in which you use the subjects. I, you, we, and they. So then we use a verb, and this verb is in the base form, right? And we also have the third person singular. Do you know the third person singular? What is the third person singular? He, she, it. Yeah, very good. He, she, and he. he. Exactly. That is the third person singular, right? He, she, and it. This can vary. You can say Carlos, you can say uh, Carmen, you can say Jose, you can say my father, my mother, the doctor, my dog my cat, etc. right? It can vary, this can vary. So when you have the third person singular in the simple present, in the simple present, affirmative specifically, so in this way, you change the verb. Now the verb, we need to add at the end, S, ES, or IES. Al final del verbo, siempre en esa forma, iba del presente simple. Cuando es la tercera persona singular, se le agrega S, ES o IES. That's why we say, my brother goes to school in the morning. We don't say, my brother go. We don't say, my brother go. We say, my brother goes to school in the morning because it is the third person singular. In other words, we say, he. He goes to school in the morning, right? It's because of that. My brother goes to school in the morning. So we include ES. ES. Right. The other example is, right? Susana listens to music. Susana listens to music. We use S at the end. Listens. Or we can say, right, she, she listens to music in the afternoon. Or Susana listens to music in the afternoon. It's because of that we use the third person singular. Tenemos la tercera persona singular. In the simple present. If it is in this way, it's normal. You can say, right, I go to school in the morning. 
You don't say I goes. No. We say I go because the verb is in the base form. In this case, the verb is in form of base. I go. I go to school in the morning. But if you say my brother goes to school in the morning, it's different because it's the third person singular. This is in affirmative. In affirmative. Questions over here? Preguntas acá? Yeah. Yeah. Un ejemplo con IES. Ah, okay. Good, good. Yeah, I would say, um, let me see. Yeah, Jose studies French on weekends. So now the verb is with IES. We include IES because it's a study, studies. Jose studies French on weekends. We don't say Jose study. Oops. We don't say Jose study. Jose study French on weekends. No, that is in the in the other phone, right? You say Jose studies French on weekends. So it can be here, right? We can say we study French on weekends. In that case is you know like that. The verb is in the base form of study. But in this case, it's Jose studies French weekends. What is the way we recognize or we change a verse in the third person singular? Let me give you some rules. ¿Cuál es la forma en la que nosotros cambiamos los verbos? ¿Cómo saber? Is this. These are the rules. Those are the reglas. Simple person affirmative. Only in the affirmative with a simple present. With most of the verse, we include S, only S. For the majority of verbs, solo agregamos S. Work, we say works. Dance, we say dances. Read, we say reads. Speak, we say speaks. Again, work, works. Dance, dances. Read, reads. Speak, speaks. Right, that is the first rule, the first rule. Most verbs take S in the third person singular. The first rule, esa es la primera regla. Second rule, when the verbs end in S, 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 H, C, H, X, and X, we include E, S. For example, Kiss, let's say kisses. So this, this verb, kiss, finishes with SS. So we include the S. Next, wash, washes. Wash finishes with SH. SH. Right, that is the way. SH. Watch. Wash, so we say washes, washes. So this one finishes with CA, CH. And the last one finishes with X, we say fix, fix, fix. That is the second rule, second rule. Whenever you see a verb that, finish, that finishes with this letters, it's because you have to include the S. Cada vez que veamos un verbo que termina de esa forma, hay que agregarle es. En la tercera persona singular, el simple present, la persona simple. Siempre en el simple present. Any questions so far? Preguntas? Saca. No. Solo esos verbos serían los que van a llevar esas reglas o, o es general. Así. Van a haber muchos más verbos. We have more. Yeah, we have more. 
Yes. For example, if, you know, talking about the second rule, you have match. So you know the match finished with CH. So we have to include ES, matches. Match, matches. That is in general. You know, the rules are in general. Of course, you have to look at the verse. And based on that, you have to make the correct changes. Se va a observar el verbo, ¿verdad? Va, según las reglas, lo va a observar. Y con base en eso, se va a hacer el cambio. O sea, de que uno nada más se tiene que fijar en la terminación del verbo, se podría decir. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yes. Another example. Let me see. I would say... Um, watch. A watch like this. Watches. Yeah, watches. Is that exactly? Watch. Age, right? We say watches. Watches. Very good. With the first rule, with the first rule, con la primera regla. Let me see. We have work, dance, read. Speak out. Oh, okay, I have listen, for example. Listen. So with this verb, we have to use just S. Listens. Listens. For the majority of verbs, se les agrega solo S. Listen, listens. Lo que debemos, de, debemos de hacer, por lo general, es enfocarnos en esas terminaciones que los verbos suelen tener. Si las tienen, si es el caso, utilizamos ES. ES. El verbo pasar. Oh, pass. Exactly. Very good. Thank you. Pass. So pass finishes with SS. SS. Yes. Yes. So we include ES. Yes. We say passes. Passes. Very good. We can, for example, sleep. Sleep. Uh -huh. Sleep is in the first form. We say sleeps. Sleeps. It's with S at the end. Sleep, sleeps. That is the way. El verbo comprar, por ejemplo. Oh, buy, but buy is different because, yeah, it's, it's, it's with the next rule. We have the four rule. Ese verbo buy lo voy a mantener acá. Plus, por ejemplo. Lo voy a mantener por acá porque eso va a ser para la última regla. Ya voy a explicar. Let's go with number three. Number three, when the verse in in a consonant plus white, consonant plus white, you have to drop or eliminate the white and we have to use IES, right? That is the third rule. Cuando tenemos un verbo que termina en cons consonante, consonant plus white, we have to include, I mean, we have to eliminate white. We have to include IES. For example, okay, for example, we have the verb study, we have cry, we have try. Let's use these ones. Okay, study, cry, and try. What is the way? Okay, we have to focus on the last two letters. Tenemos que enfocarnos en las últimas dos letras. Consonant, white. Consonant, white. Consonant, white. So we, you know, we consider that the, the rule applies. The rule applies. So we say, studies. Say Christ, and we say Christ. So as you can see, we eliminate white, and we include this. That is the way. Consonant plus white. And the other rule says that when the when the verse in in a vowel plus white, we only add s. In ese caso diferente con la última regla, we have a vowel plus white, so we add just s. Acá es diferente. No se elimina la Y. 
se mantiene y solo se agrega S. El caso del by. Y play. Exactly. Play. We have enjoy. So with this verse, as you can see, and let's do again the exercise. Vowel plus white. U, white. A, white. O, white. So in this case, we say vice. We don't do this. No, this is incorrect. We say vice. We say place. We say enjoys. We only include S. We have more examples over here, right? Say. With say, we say says. Say, says. With obey, obey, we say obeys. Obeys. So we only include S. Only S. Okay? That is the way. That is where we use the simple present affirmative. And that's why we say, right? We say, my brother goes to school in the morning. She listens to music in the afternoon. Jose studies English, sorry, Jose studies French on weekends. Why? Because it's the third person singular. He, he or it. So the verse change their forms. Los verbos cambian su forma, solo la tercera persona. Y en la forma afirmativa, claro. Okay, that is the affirmative form. Any questions? Preguntas? No question. Yeah. This is affirmative. With negative form, we follow this formula. Subject, we use this auxiliary verse, do not or does not, or we can say don't or doesn't. It's the same. Let's go with the negative form. See? The negative form. We have subject, we use do not or does not, plus the verb. The verb is always in base form, in the negative form. El verbo en la forma negativa es siempre, siempre que sea la tercera persona se utiliza en forma base. Right. For example, I say, I, you, we, again, and they don't. Remember, don't, don't, and doesn't, these are called auxiliary verbs, right? And don't and doesn't means do not and does not. Do not and does not. So we have the long form and we have the contractions. These are the contractions. As we can see over here, right? Contractions. Don't, do not. Doesn't, does not. We can use both. Podemos utilizar ambos. No ningún problema. Okay, we say I don't, you don't, we don't, they don't. If it is a third person singular, again, we have he, she, and he. With this third person singular, we use doesn't. Doesn't. He doesn't. She doesn't. He doesn't. For example, remember, when we have these forms, we use the base form of the verb. In las dos formas, Utilizamos el verbo en forma base. For example, I can say, I don't go to school on weekends. I don't go to school on weekends. I don't go to school on weekends. Or I can say, my brother doesn't go to school on weekends. That is the way. Now I say my brother doesn't go to school on weekends. I don't say I don't say my brother doesn't go to school on weekends. In this case, 
it doesn't apply. Why? Why we use the verb in base form? It's because we have the auxiliary verb. ¿Por qué utilizamos el verbo en forma base? Es porque tenemos el auxiliar. That's why in negative form, the verb is always in base form. Por eso que el verbo es... Yeah, o sea, que cuando tengamos el verbo auxiliar en la tercera persona no vamos a agregar la S. No, exactly. Only with affirmative. Only with affirmative form. Affirmative. Only with affirmative. We have made the changes. We say goals, listens, studies, okay, watches, visits, etc. Only with the affirmative form. In negative, the verbs are in base form. En negativo, los verbos están en forma base. Siempre. Why? Because we have the theories. Doesn't and don't. That is the way. Some examples. I don't Entonces, live... En negativo, vamos a usar el auxiliar. Yeah, only negative. Only negative. And in questions. But in questions, it's different. Con las preguntas, también utilizamos auxiliares, pero es diferente. We use only do or does. Do or does. Pero eso lo vamos a ver mañana, las preguntas. Do or does. We don't say don't or doesn't. We say do or does. Let me give an example. Do you have brothers or sisters? Do. Do you have brothers or sisters? Esa sería la forma. Mañana lo vamos a ver a detalle. Mejor. Pero para denotarles. Do or does. Auxiliares. Okay. I don't live far from here. I don't live far from here. You don't work downtown. You don't work downtown. Okay? You don't work downtown. For example, she doesn't drive to work. She doesn't drive as you can see, we don't say she doesn't drive or no, that is not possible. We don't say she doesn't drives to work. No, this is incorrect. As you can see, it works, you know, you know the Microsoft Word gives, gives me the, the correction, right? Incluso Word me está dando la, el error. That's why it's incorrect. Doesn't drive. The verb is in the base form, like this. Why? Because we had auxiliary. Siempre forma base porque está el auxiliar. Okay? That is the way we use affirmative and negative form. Do you have any questions? Háganme saber si tienen preguntas. Teacher, I have a question. Dime. Eh, what's the meaning downtown? downtown? Oh, downtown, okay. Downtown is, you know, um, I would say the main, the main place of a capital, right? For example, in San Salvador, you know the main the main place right in the country is downtown right so you go to downtown um for example you go to catedral palacio nacional so that is downtown downtown we call it right we say in spanish the center of san salvador so that is downtown thank you teacher. you're welcome somebody else Is the topic clear? Are we good? Estamos bien? Oh, yeah. Yes, we are. Excellent, excellent. Thank you. Okay, I need you to practice. Please keep in mind this. By the way, I'm going to send it in the WhatsApp group. This information. Voy a enviar eso por 
por chat. Al WhatsApp para que ustedes lo tengan. Imagino que ya tomaron una captura o un, una foto. Pero se los reenvío por cualquier cosa. And we're going to practice. Vamos a practicar. Let's continue. Well, we're going to practice. What do you have to do? Listen. Any in your notebooks, in your notebooks, I need you to write at least eight sentences describing your family, your friends, and your transportation habits. All right. Let me give you some examples so you can follow. For example, I don't take the bus to work. I drive. My brother drives to university. He has a new car. My father takes the taxi to work. Brian doesn't take an Uber to school. Michelle rides a motorcycle to her mother's house. I need you to tell me your families, your friends, and your transportation habits. Please, follow the examples and I need you to write eight sentences. I want you to combine and I need you to use affirmative and negative form. You can write four sentences in affirmative and four in negative. Vamos a escribir ocho, ocho oraciones, ocho nuevos ejemplos en sus cuadernos. Cuatro en, si usan en afirmativo y cuatro negativo. About your family, your friends, and you. And you, please. Follow the examples. Follow the examples. Sigamos los ejemplos. Y escribamos ejemplos similares. Les hemos afirmativo y negativo. Quiero que practiquen con ambos. Sigamos los ejemplos. As soon as you complete, you finish the sentences, please. I will ask you to raise your hands. Raise your hands as soon as you finish. Levantemos la manita cuando hemos finalizado. Si hay preguntas, háganmelo saber. Eh, por cierto, ahorita estoy verificando el grupo. Se les ha enviado un mensaje, les voy a hacer el por acá. En caso no hemos ¿verdad? visto el, el, el chat. Eh, se les acaba de enviar un, eh, un mensaje en el cual se les indica lo siguiente. No se les olvide enviar ese comprobante de manu del manual educativo. Tienen y según la fecha límite, tienen hasta ese próximo viernes. Eso de marzo. Para, ¿verdad? Hacer constar que han recibido. Han recibido el manual educativo descargable. El comprobante de ese manual, ¿verdad? El, el comprobante para que ustedes deben de enviar. El formato está, se les ha enviado ahí el link. En caso no lo hemos descargado, lo pueden descargar de ahí. Llenarlo. ¿verdad? Recuerden que deben de imprimirlo. Si no me equivoco, lo mismo, es lo mismo. Imprimirlo, llenarlo en cada físico con la pizarra SUS de, de, de preferencia para que no le vaya a generar ningún problema. Eh, firmarlo, luego escanearlo y enviar al contacto que se les ha pedido. Siempre se les pide enviar ese comprobante de, de que han recibido el, el manual, ¿verdad? 
si es que no se les olvide, según la indicación, se ha un momento. Any questions? No, teacher. No. Thank you. Thank you, too. Thank you, too. If you have any questions, tell me. Tell me over here. I will help you. Walter has finished. Walter, I would like to listen to you. Could you help us with your sentences, please? The affirmative? Both, if you want. Affirmative, net, if it's okay. Okay, because my family is, is big, more or less. We are five persons in my family. Yeah. Okay. I take a microbus to work. My younger brother drives his car to work. My older brother drives a motorcycle to work. My sister wor works at house and my mother works with her. Okay, great, great. Thank you, Walter, for examples. We're good, we're good. If somebody else is ready, let me know, right? We're going to listen to you. Mercedes, yeah, you're ready. My brother drives to work. My mother takes an Uber to supermarket. Julio doesn't take on the bus to university. My friend drives to work. I take a train to school. He doesn't take a motorcycle to work. Good, excellent, Ana Mercedes. Uh, can you repeat number two, Ana Mercedes? Oh. My brother take an Uber to supermarket. 
Okay, it does make emphasis on the verb. My brother takes. My, my brother mother. Takes. Oh, mother. my mother. Sorry. Mother. My, mo my mother takes. Takes, solo, okay. Solo haga emphasis en el verbo, con la, con la S. Only that. Exactly. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Ana Mercedes. Well done. Jennifer, help us, please. Jennifer? Okay, um, negative. I don't cook today because I buy food. Um, my mom doesn't clean her house every day. Alexis doesn't water the garden. My neighbors don't listen to music today. Um, affirmative, I do my homework right now. Elena bakers a cupcake. Steven wall walk walked for 30 minutes on the park. Mia and Julissa be, begin English class today. Okay, great. Very good, Jennifer. Only that, sorry. Eh, yo yeah. tuve duda en, en la que hice donde puse que no regaba el jardín. Alexis no, rega, no regó el jardín. No sé si... It's good, es it's good. Water. Water. Yeah, what, water. That is the way. Ah. Alexis that doesn't water the, the garden. Exactly. Okay. One observation that I want to, to make uh, with the pronunciation. I think you said she, she bakes cupcakes. Cupcakes. She bakes cupcakes. Only, only that, Jennifer. Very good. Ana Maria. The first, I don't drive to work. I take the coaster. My brother doesn't take the bus, the bus to work. He walks. My mother gets the Uber to work. To work. My sister doesn't walk to school. She drives. My daughter doesn't drive a car. She uses the bicycle. Okay. Excellent. Well, you can say, Ana Maria, in the last one, she rides by. She, she rides. rides a bike. Yes. Only that. We're good. Thank you. It is Benitez. It's help us. Okay. My father drive to work. My son ride a bike to school. A milk car takes a bus to downtown. My daughter wa walk walks to school. Repeat, please. Yeah, my daughter walks. Walks, okay. Um, negative, I don't drive to work. Eric doesn't bus to school. She doesn't, doesn't um, ride, uh, ride motorcycle yeah. uh, to supermarket. We don't ride to party. Okay, we don't drive to the party, right? To the we party. Don't drive to the party, yes. yes. Um, can you repeat number two for affirmative form? Puedo repetir la dos de afirmativo? Uh, negative. No, affirmative. Affirmative. Okay. Um, my son, oh, mi hijo. Yeah, my, my son. son. Uh, my son. Bikes. Um, va en la bicicleta, eh, perdón. 
Si mi hijo va en la bicicleta a la escuela. Yes, very good. You can say, it is my son rides a bike to school. You can say okay. a bike or you can say a bicycle. Okay. It's okay, the same, you know, my son rides a bike or a bicycle to school. Yeah. Thank you, Iris. Very good. Okay, do I have somebody else? I get, I guess we're gonna go with one more person because of the time, it's two o'clock. One more person. Rosa. I, yeah. Sí. My son drives to work. My daughter goes to school my minibus. Minibus. My husband, he drives motorcycle. I take the bus to Insafor. Um, sería, ahora serían las negativas. My friend doesn't take the bus she works. What? 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 Yeah. Um, Jackie doesn't take to tax uh, the taxi to work. My sister doesn't drive uh, to work. She takes the bus. She takes the bus. The bus. The bus. The bus. The bus. Yes, exactly. My. Yeah. My mother doesn't work the um, two thousand. Two thousand. Two thousand. Two house. To, oh, to the house. To the house. To the house. Okay. To the house. Sí. Excellent. Can you repeat number two? It is for affirmative. Voy a repetir la dos. Rosa, perdón. Sí. My Darren goes. To school, my minibus. Okay. You can say, Rosa, my daughter eh, goes to school goes. in a minibus. Or you can say, or you can say, my daughter takes the minibus um. to school. So both are, are correct. Ambos pueden ser correctos. My daughter, repeat for me. My daughter goes to school in a minibus. Repeat. My, my daughter goes, goes to school in a minibus. To a school in a minibus. Or my daughter takes. My, my daughter takes the minibus. The minibus to school. To a school. Yes. Very good. Only that. Only that. Thank you, Rosa. Yes. Very good job. Okay, guys. Uh, listen, because of time, we're going to start right here. But I will. I would like you to help me with something. I will ask you the following thing. Please, the people or everybody, I need you to send your exercises through the WhatsApp group, please. Quiero que todos, ¿verdad? los que hicieron falta, igual los que participaron, por favor envíen sus eh, ejemplos, sus oraciones al grupo de WhatsApp. Ahí voy a estar yo chequeando, revisando y ¿verdad? voy a estar haciendo posibles, posibles observaciones. Por favor, ya terminamos, o no hemos terminado, sigamos y las compartimos una vez hayamos finalizado. Voy a estar revisando. Ok, por el tiempo nos vamos a quedar hasta acá y recuerden, solo es el último recordatorio, que esta semana se va a estar reforzando la clase de ayer, ¿verdad? por el inconveniente que, que tuvimos, ha dicho tuve, el mismo tiempo, verdad, los perjudiqué, que mil disculpas nuevamente, 
Eh, solo para estar seguro de que todos están en la lista, voy a mencionar a los que no tengo marcados. Claudia Efigenia. José Daniel. José. Ovidio. Son por acá, creo yo. Ricardo. En Stephanie. No, estamos bien. Bueno, vamos a quedarnos hasta acá. Si tienen dudas o preguntas, háganmelo saber, ¿verdad? Por medio de WhatsApp, por medio de WhatsApp, eh, de forma personal. Sigamos trabajando, ¿verdad? En la plataforma. No se nos olvide ver el comprobante que les dije hace un momento. He eh, recibido, ¿verdad? El manual. Y si tienen algún problema con algún ejercicio, háganmelo saber, ya sea en el grupo o de forma personal, repito. Es que nos vamos a quedar hasta acá. Seguimos mañana con That's Simple Present time. Questions. Okay, you're welcome. Well, guys, have a good, good day. Time. Thank you so much for being here, and I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you. Goodbye. Blessings. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you, you. For sure. Have a nice day. Thanks. You too, guys. Bye-bye. I need to take a cup of coffee. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Drink. For sure. Drink a cup Drink. of coffee. Drink a cup of coffee, exactly. Drink a cup of coffee with a piece of semita. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Well, I enjoy, enjoy it. Enjoy it. Yeah, of course. It, okay, that is so delicious. See you tomorrow, boy. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Goodbye.